What's going on everybody? Corey with Junk Boss here. So just pulled up to a house that I was asked to do an estimate for to clean out. It's been vacant for quite a while, just used as a storage house. Uh, pulled up right away and noticed just based on the yard, I knew the house wasn't gonna be good. Uh, the neighborhood's not the greatest, but also not the worst. Uh, kicked the door in, which it was unlocked. It was just wedged shut. So kicked the door in so I could see and I'm gonna walk you guys around this house a little bit, but made sure to grab my N95 mask. So get ready. And we're in the house. It's even got notice on the door. Yeah, not a good one either. It's just dust webs and spider webs all over the place. You can tell the humidity has just destroyed everything in here. Cause we're in deep South Alabama, down here in Mobile. It's 98 degrees out today, sunshine and humidity is probably super high. So this house has been destroyed. They just better off burning it down. And all these webs up here, golly. And this, this is the gross part. The door's just left open to the carport and just, oh, look at this nastiness. You almost need a Trivex suit and respirators if you're gonna work in this house. Actually, there's no almost to it. You need a Trivex suit and respirators. Even the ceiling is, looks like it's ceiling or something right there. I don't know. This is a, mm. oh man, the mold is horrible smelling back here. This is definitely a very hazardous house. Oh, the mold smells horrible. I'm not even gonna go any further in here. This is definitely the worst house I've been called to give an estimate on. You can see the mold all, I'm walking all over it. So needless to say, I'm not taking that job. It is, it's way too much of a health hazard. Um, and it's just not worth it. I don't care if the guy offers me twenty thousand dollars. I'm not going into the house. The whole thing needs to be burned down or bulldozed. They're better off calling Serve Pro to come out there and handle it. Um, what's funny is, as I was walking out of the house, a lady pulled up right in front of my truck and was walking up onto the property. Turns out she was uh, with a competitor, which I don't consider this particular guy a competitor of mine. He's actually a friend of mine, so of course I'm gonna support him and he you know he's throwing jobs my way and vice versa so he ends up calling me once she told him that i was at the house and i just gave him the rundown of the condition of the house she's got fibromyalgia and all sorts of other stuff so she doesn't need to be in that house looking around so she, she took my word for it just based on the outside um and i did take the video footage that you guys just watched so i'm going to send that over to him so he can actually see that i meant you know hey pass on this house you don't need it yeah this is the definitely the nastiest house I've I've done well been asked to give a quote for so far and let's see if I can find my way out of here without GPS because I'm talking to you guys uh yeah first first house I thought was worse was one I gave an estimate for a couple of weeks ago um which might have honestly been equally as bad but it didn't have as much stuff in it it was actually relatively empty with just a handful of stuff in each room but it was the same condition as far as the mold situation was just unbearable from the time you stepped foot in there, which I didn't even walk into that one because the, the roof was starting to cave in or the ceiling was starting to cave in. Uh, so it's just way too much of a safety risk for me. So I passed on that one as well because I wasn't even willing to enter in. The outside of the house was rotting away. So between the that house two weeks ago and this house today, man, uh, you know, I, best of luck to the property owners, you know, but I think on both cases, level the house, start over. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them in the comment section below. Get back to junking. Why are you spending all your time on YouTube? Go, go do some junk removal.